Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. If you guys are new here, welcome. My name is Braden Timmons, and I know I look like a complete douchebag right now because I'm getting ready to go outside and do some yard work, but I really wanted to get a video out on this because this has kind of been spreading across the internet over the course of the past few days, and if you guys read the title of the video, you guys know exactly what I'm talking about. And it's the fact that apparently Dr. Samuel Loomis, the Samuel Loomis, um, well, not the Samuel Loomis because Donald Pleasance is, uh, is dead, but um, apparently Dr. Loomis is going to be one of those surprise characters that returns for Halloween Kills. And I'm really, really curious to see how they're going to pull this off because it has been said from the test screening, from everything with interviews with the cast of Halloween Kills, um, that Halloween Kills is a bigger, badder, and meaner movie than Halloween 2018, which I don't think is going to be hard to pull off um, because Halloween 2018, it was a big movie, but was it bad and mean? Was Michael Myers as brutal as I think he could have been? Absolutely not. But they're saying that Michael Myers is absolutely disgusting in this upcoming movie, and that's what I'm really looking forward to seeing the most. And I'm also looking to see, you know, Tommy and Lindsay, but I really want to see this badassery that Michael Myers is supposedly going to hold in Halloween Kills. And, of course, now that this could potentially be confirmed, Dr. Sam Loomis might be that surprise character that audiences have been saying is going to return in Halloween Kills. Like, there's been a lot of theories saying that it's going to be Daniel Harris, um, who may have a cameo in the movie, but... I don't necessarily think that she fits into this timeline, nor does Josh Hartnett coming back as John Tater. Even if he is in the movie, there's really no purpose of him being there. Um, but Dr. Loomis, with all of the flashbacks from 1978, he could actually have a purpose in this movie. And, you know, it could be Michael Myers, like, after he was caught, we could see some stuff with him at Smith's Grove. We could see the further relationship that he may have had with uh, him and Marion Chambers, because obviously she is coming back, and I think that she's going to be able to provide a little bit of backstory as well. Um, she's going to have a lot to say about Michael Myers. So it's all of these characters that are all coming into this movie that I'm really curious to see where David Gordon Green, Dan McBride, and Scott teams all see these characters today, 40 years after the events of 1978. Because obviously we're only going to see Dr. Loomis in the flashback sequences. And it might not even be full-fledged scenes, you know? Like, this is spreading across the internet like wildfire. Like, oh my gosh, Dr. Loomis is back. Yeah, that's really cool, you know? But obviously it's also going to be CGI. And there was that guy that... Um, spread across the internet back when Halloween Kills was filming uh, that looked pretty identical to Dr. Loomis, right? But Ryan Turek, one of the co-producers of Halloween Kills, uh, had opened up and said that he's not their guy. He's, like, not with them. It might look like him, but he's not with them. And, you know, producers will say anything that they need to say to keep the lid tight on spoilers or anything, but now it might feel like that that may have been the guy that could be the cameo as Dr. Loomis, because it looked like a pretty spitting image of Donald Pleasance. And, you know, I don't feel like that Ryan Turek would have commented on it unless he was trying to trick the audience to avoid spoilers. That's that's my thing, because producers have a history of doing that. J.J. Abrams with Star Wars, and now all of these producers with Halloween Kills trying to keep the lid as tight as they can as us fans speculate everything that may be going on with this next chapter in the Halloween series, because... There's no doubt that all of us are really excited. We all really want to see a trailer. We're all eager to see all of these characters that are returning and even seeing the new characters that were introduced in Halloween 2018, how they're going to have an impact on this story. And I'm just really excited and I cannot wait to see what they do, especially if Dr. Loomis is in it, because that would be a really, really awesome surprise. Um, I mean, really, at this point, it's not a surprise anymore because, like I said, this is spreading across the Internet like wildfire. Um, there's a lot of people and there's a lot of videos talking about how it is he's going to be in the movie. And, of course, it will be in the flashback sequences, which is going to be interesting. I'm, I'm really curious to see their vision of what happened in 1978 after Michael Myers got up and walked away from being shot six times by Loomis. So maybe that's where it'll pick up. Maybe that's where... 
the flashback sequences will start and maybe we'll even get to see Dr. Loomis out on the street looking for Myers, maybe with Hawkins or something like that as well. So again, there's just a lot of there's just a lot of stuff in my mind now. But with all that being said, guys, that's all I wanted to talk about today. Post your guys' comments down below. Let me know what do you guys think? How do you think Dr. Loomis is going to be in Halloween Kills, and what are you guys the most excited to see in Halloween Kills? Whatever you guys' thoughts are, comment below, let me know, and as always, if you guys like this, don't forget to join me on my journey to 5,000 subscribers, and I will see you guys in my next video.